guys welcome back to another tutorial today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to accomplish this giraffe tumbler on a Stanley dupe as well as how to create your own glitter vinyl I purchased this tumbler from craft Haven but I do have some exciting news for you guys I am now an affiliate with tipsy magnolia formerly known as the steel magnolia and they do have a Stanley dupe that looks just like this coming out soon that is called Big Betty. I will let you guys know as soon as that launches. So we're gonna start out with a prepped and spray painted base like usual. And then we're gonna go in with a coat of Goddess from Peachy Olive Glitters. As usual, I will have a discount code for you guys in the description box along with my epoxy discount for Flynn's Sisters Epoxy. And once the glitter is applied using the epoxy method, I'm gonna let that cure and put that on my turner use two coats of Fast Set from Flynn Sisters Supply Shop, and then we'll get started with this vinyl. I taped this vinyl down to my tabletop, and then I'm going to use the Aline's Tacket. Just a very tiny bit of this goes a very long way. I'm gonna apply that to the pre-colored vinyl. If you don't have vinyl in the color that you're wanting, you can just spray paint it. Um, prior to spray painting, I would just give it a light sanding and then rub it off with rubbing alcohol just to ensure it's a clean surface and the paint will adhere to it. Once the tacket is applied and completely streak free, we are going to hit that with the heat gun just to ensure that the glue is clear. It's not going to be white. If it's white, that means that it's not ready to receive glitter yet and that glitter will just move around. So once the glue is clear. We'll apply the glitter. I'm using It's Pecan from Peachy Olive Glitters. That is a very fine cut. You won't want to use a chunky or a medium uh, cut of glitter because it won't rub into the vinyl like this fine cut does. And once you've got that applied and you rub it flat onto the vinyl with your hand, you're just going to take that off of the tabletop surface and Put a coat of polycrylic over it to adhere the glitter to the vinyl. Once that polycrylic is completely clear, dry to the touch, then you can put that on your cutting mat and cut out your design using the glitter heat transfer vinyl setting. I found this giraffe print SVG on Creative Fabrica. I do have a subscription to Creative Fabrica that I pay for monthly, so this file was free for me, but I believe it was about $2 if you don't have a subscription. So once the vinyl is all taken care of, I'm gonna go back to my tumbler that has two coats of the fast setting epoxy on it. We're gonna just do a light sanding on that just to make sure the handles don't have any little pokey bits sticking up. All of the bottom edges, top edges are buffed down, and then we'll wipe that off with rubbing alcohol. At this point, the vinyl is completely cured and ready to be used. So I am just going to hand place these. All of this glitter is completely sealed in, so you don't have to worry about any of that transferring onto that gold glitter that you already have sealed. We'll just hand place that, and then we'll get it ready for its final coat of epoxy.
When I had this design in mind, I wasn't completely sure if I wanted to do an offset on these giraffe spots. So I didn't lay it down, the offset down prior to laying the glitter vinyl down. I just created a 0.50 offset in this beige vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. And I sliced out the offset so I didn't have a full giraffe spot. I just had the outlining, if that makes sense. In hindsight, if I had known if I that I was going to um, do some offsets on a couple of these spots, I would have cut out a full giraffe spot at that 0 0.50 offset but I would not have sliced out the center because this was really hard to lay down and also my camera shut off while I was recording so you guys only got a snippet of me laying that down um, but if you're gonna do this I would recommend just laying your glitter vinyl over top of the full giraffe spot rather than trying to do an offset of a sliced spot if that makes sense to you guys it was just a lot harder to place than it needed to be so don't make my mistake. I'm very open with you guys letting you know the mistakes I made so you don't have to do them yourself. Once all of my vinyl was done, I put that on my turner. This had to go on my Bowen single cup turner because the handle was so large that it hit my tabletop on my regular nine cup turner. So keep that in mind before you start doing a design. Make sure you're putting the handle on prior to starting your design because you may get a surprise like I did and realize that your <laughs> cup does not fit on your turner. So I put a coat of polycrylic over that vinyl just to ensure that those offsets didn't lift, that my decal with the name didn't lift, anything like that. Let that dry till it was dry to the touch. And then I went in with 60 milliliters of the Flint Sisters Artist Cure Resin. This is not the fast set. It did take the full 60 milliliters. I am shocked that it took that much, but it is a 40 ounce cup. So after that fully cured overnight, this cup was completely finished and I love how it turned out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button if you wanna get notified of every weekend's tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next video.